welcome to everybody on my YouTube channel again and I have to say a really big uh, thank you guys for uh, watching my uh, channel and my videos. As you see here now I'm staying in my uh, home recording studio behind this uh, president state uh, because I want to show you guys something really interesting that I scored on eBay for uh, <coughs> 17 bucks. So let's jump now to the story of this deal because on that time I'm just looking for some kind of uh, and carry case for uh, some of my uh, field recorder uh, gears and uh, I find a lot of nice uh, cases for for 50, 70 bucks or whatever new second hand um, stuff like this <clears throat> and I find one advertisement which is started on one euro and actually it's listed as a second hand um, carry case and the guy, uh, he wrote it in the description, yeah, the case is in a, in a good condition, there is no big uh, scratches on it, all the locks are working, the, the hand grip are not uh, loosey, and, uh, and about the size and uh, the material, outside it's aluminium, inside it's uh, wood, but then he wrote it something really interesting on, on the description. He wrote it, but this is not only a case, this also contains something, what he don't know what is this for. And he wrote it in, in the description, it's, this contains some cables, connectors, some small boxes, and uh, he really don't know what is this for, so the bidding is just about the, the case, but he will left everything inside, and this is how you will get it. So. This looks to me really interesting and uh, and and I stepped uh, into this bidding and actually I won for uh, 17 bucks. So okay, let's use now this president state to show you guys what I scored on eBay for 17 bucks. But for that I have to zoom in a bit and I uh, have to put here the box itself. Ta-da! This is the box. So let's now zoom in a bit. As you see, nothing uh, fancy, it's just a really simple, normal uh, uh, case. By the way, this is really heavy. It's, it's like almost 10 kilogram. Uh, I just have to zoom in more. Uh, okay, maybe. Maybe. Good. So here is the box, as you see. <coughs> there is a tool lock. There is a hand grip and it's a normal box. And uh, so let's now open it. Let's see what I scored on eBay for 17 bucks. Ta-da! Here it is. This is NTS CSS 500 unit. And uh, what is this for? It's the NTS company. Nowadays they are, they are dealing with uh, tachographs and uh, speedometers for, for trucks and for uh, trains. So they are they are really a serious company on, on, on a precision and on, on a measurements. So in the past, <coughs> they have a division for, for audio. This unit, it's in the past, it's a part of um, feedback uh, destroying uh, and feedback uh, measurement system. But the interesting story is came after when they came out with this to the market, because this unit is not only a noise generator. Okay, maybe you, you know you think, oh, what is this for this big unit? Because nowadays you can get a, a noise generator uh, like a size of uh, XLR connector. But uh, uh, in, 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 in this time, the NTS uh, GmbH, they did this noise generator 
with a proper speaker system. Now, and this is when it's coming really interesting. Why? Because you don't have to connect or disconnect into your system this device to check your microphones. So how it works actually, you have this really, by the way, this speaker, it's really heavy and it's a bit like a tank and you can see here on the bottom there is some kind of uh, metal for, uh, for holding the speaker and uh, the, the front grill is like, it's really heavy, you are almost undestroyable and uh, the, the weight is like two kilogram and you see here the, um, the speaker connector is not just this uh, simple plug connector, it's actually fixed by two screws so make sure you will never uh, lose this connection and uh, by the way <coughs> they used very high quality cable from uh, if I can read the text on it because there is some pressed text inside it's uh, yeah it's it's made by uh, Bayer Dynamic and um, so this is the speaker with the with the really high quality cable so this you can connect to here and this speaker you can put the front of your microphone which is ping noise now you can turn up um, the, the volume on, on your mixer and, and of course um, the PA system will be will be start to do a feedback and uh, this is the point when you have to stop and then uh, adjust on your uh, EQ to find uh, the problematic frequencies if you don't have the other unit so this is actually what is made for but the sound engineers and the, the recording engineers they find this tool it can be really handy for a lot of other uh, tasks and the one one of the most interesting stuff from that is if you have a really big uh, record like you 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 record the, a, a, a full orchestra with 60 70 microphone and uh, the whole uh, process to, to set up all the stands and all the microphone and all the chairs and seats and whatever then the, the the note holders it can be really painful after when you have 60 microphone connected you don't have a right tool to go and do like a like a basic uh, mic check and uh, this unit <laughs> the engineers they find this is the best solution for the the first uh, quick uh, mic check why <clears throat> because when you start to build up the the whole recording stage you don't have um, the band it's, it's meaning uh, at least 100 people, so you have two choices, or you have somebody who, who can play on saxophone, on guitar, or on, on brass, or, or on drums, or uh, on violin, or, or, or string, or, and, and you run with this guy to do a mic check, or you have this puppy, and you can do the first basic mic check without any helper in your uh, recording session. So this CSS 500, it's the same unit which is inside in this uh, feedback uh, destroyer controller pack. But let's see what is inside in this box because there is more stuff. And uh, so the, the, the NTS company they realized it, it will be much more much more bigger sales if they just sell these units alone. So they did a pack which is contained this speaker and uh, some kind of uh, XLR adapters which is I think is inset because you see it's it has two different sizes. I think one 
it contains some kind of uh, impedance uh, matching uh, circuits or whatever. So this is what they give it, give you. A very nice ball head from Zulman. The, this is one of the most um, famous company on, on the stands for video, for photo, or, or for, or for uh, microphones or speakers. And this is a really nice uh, ball head. And um, later on you will see why it's important. Because they give you also a very pretty, very small um, leg system, which is four sectioned. And by the way, this is also made by uh, Zulman. And for this uh, stand, they give you two extension. And from these two extension, one is really heavy. It's like it's like two kilogram or even more. And uh, the top one, it's really light. So with this system, you get a stand, a ball head some kind of adapters, very nice high quality cable for your speaker, a standardized speaker which is A-weighted, and uh, the, the generator itself. So let's now I will change the, the position of the, of the camera because I want to build up here a, a very small uh, um, demo for how you can use this NTSC SS500 for uh, my check. This leg, as you, as you saw, it has four parts, so it can be really high. It's an amazing engineered uh, stand, and uh, it can be come up to, to here, plus this uh, two extensions, so it really can be high, like uh, 150 centimeter. Sorry guys, I don't know in feet or in each. So let's now put uh, assembly on the top this ball head from the Zulman. I don't know, I don't, don't know how to pronounce it. It's Kuhlmann or Zulman, but I think it's, it's Zulman because it's German. So, okay, now the, now the leg are fixed. And uh, now I will install this really nice ball head to this speaker. Okay, now it's done. And I will put to here. And now just for the show I put here one of my uh, vocal mic because <clears throat> this is a really normal scenario for, uh, for kind of uh, orchestra recording because a lot of instruments, the, the, you need to, to position uh, the mic in, a, in a different places. So this is when this puppy with this really nice leg, it came handy because with this you can easily adjust uh, the, the height of your uh, speaker. This box, <laughs> it's really nice look. This button here, it's really high quality. So I just have to, to press it and uh, put the device here, maybe you can see, yeah. So here is your setup, but you can run on a field without power cable because the NTS put inside the battery. But, of course, now this battery is dead, I will replace it, of course. So, the sound engine is, this is why they find this unit is so helpful. So, all this together is a piece of equipment. So, this unit can generate for you a noise, which is ping noise, which is already uh, a weighted uh, signal. So it's, you have to look uh, on the internet, there is a lot of article about it, but actually it's meaning around 100 Hz, you have already 10 dB less power and uh, around 20 K you already has 
uh, like uh, other uh, 10 or uh, I don't know, it's 10, 10 dB less uh, uh, signal. So, this unit can generate a noise to the output, which is, which is connected uh, to your uh, PIA system with, uh, with, uh, with the normal XRA connector, or it can generate a ping noise to the speaker. So, for the show now, I just will switch on the, the speaker, and here is DBA, so I'm right, uh, it's, it's running on DBA, which is the, the A-weighted uh, decibel uh, scale. So, now I start to generate the noise. As you hear, now we have 62 d dBA of, of noise, and uh, then 68, 74, 80. I don't know what this uh, red LED is showing you when you when you switch to the 80, but it's only light up on, on the 80s. I don't know for why. So let's 80, 86, 92, 98. Then you have a bit, bit like a pause. So if you turn more the the knob, you you have like a, like a mute, and then you can release. So, this is the speaker output generator from from the noise. But what if if you if you really want to do a preparation for your orchestra recording? Aha! Uh -huh. The NTS company put here an uh, input where you can where you can feed from your portable MD player and that age, yeah, MD player, your portable MD player or your portable CD player to here, and you can choose from the, from the track list like uh, uh, violin, okay, you generate a violin signal to here, and then you can set to, to the amplifier which is inside in this unit, or ping noise or the, the input of, 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 of this uh, monitor. So, now you can drive <coughs> the speaker with your simulated instrument and in this display you have a really precise measurement about your input signal. This is one. The other is you can use this one as a noise generator so you simply plug your uh, mic cable or your line cable to here and then you have a possibility to drive uh, <coughs> to drive uh, sorry guys I have to zoom in back then you have a possibility to drive with the exactly amount of noise what you want so now I'm, I'm already on a measurement of the ping noise which is coming out from here and then I just turn up. Okay, I want to generate minus 20 dB. No, minus 10. This is a key dB for uh, for a for a vocal setup. And then you generate here. Or again, you can generate. The vocal, if you have a if you have a dry vocal record, you can play through this speaker from the distance of 20 centimeter, uh, like in a normal vocal mic setup, and then you can adjust here this uh, amount, and then you can match your mixer with uh, with this amount. So this is a really handy versatile unit for uh, <laughs> for almost anything on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a recording session when you have to deal with the mics. And why I'm <clears throat> really happy with that because now I can do uh, experiments on my mics and I can uh, modify my mics to whatever I want to, to, to do with them. 
So I think it's a really piece of equipment and it's a, it's a piece of history because as I told you guys, it's mainly it's made it for uh, for uh, for feedback uh, measurements, but the, the sound engine as they find this unit alone, it's a really handy uh, handy gear for them. So uh, I, I read uh, on the internet on some article, a lot of guys that are looking exactly a device like this with a really high precision uh, balanced speaker with some kind of uh, small stand and with some kind of uh, really well uh, engineered uh, noise generator and uh, nowadays nobody is doing that actually I checked back to um, the website of, of the MTS and I just find they are still doing only the um, the towograph uh, for uh, for tracks, so I think it's a really nice unit for 17 bucks. But maybe if it's not enough interesting for you, let's know and open it. What is inside? Okay, now I open up the case and uh, as you see, there is nothing uh, too much going on here. And as you see here, I already uh, connected uh, my uh, uh, Agilent uh, scope, which has inside um, a matte function, which will generate for us the, the FFT spectrum for, for the noise uh, because the noise, it has to be uh, A weighted and uh, it has to be pink noise. So it's not a white uh, noise. So the difference between the two kind of noise, it's, it's, it's this, the, here is the, This is the frequency, and this is the 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 power of of your noise, and the white noise, it's contain a same level through the whole frequency spectrum. And what's the problem with that in the, in the audio system or uh, or systems or? in the, the television or any radio signal measurements. Uh, the problem is, if you're using the, the white noise, it's meaning the power of your, of your signal is increasing by 3 dB every octave. Uh, I don't want to go now in, into the deep details why, why is this, but um, this is the white noise. The pink noise, it's the opposite. So the pink noise, it's do like this. And why, it's, why is this? Because the pink noise, this is the pink, sorry guys, everything is red now. <laughs> The ping noise in each octave is give you a same amount of power. So this P is equal like this P and this and this. So uh, I don't remember for the, the mathematic uh, formula for that, but uh, the, the ping noise has to be shaped like this. And uh, the A-weighted signal, which is on top of it, the A-weighted signal is saying, here is your 100 Hz and here is your 20K. So the A-weighted signal has to be looks like, like this. Almost copy and following the, the human 
hearing um, frequency response. So how you hear its its uh, response for the frequencies. This is how it looks. Uh, by the way, it's not fully true, but this is what the um, the engineers choose as a as a standard common for for all the measurements, which is using the uh, the A weighted uh, uh, spectrum. In the industry, we we choose this one because it's really easy to to create with the filters and uh, and um, amplifiers and uh, basic analog signal processing. So actually, what we have to find inside in this device, we have to find some kind of white noise generator. And from this white noise generator, we have to find some other circuit, which is doing first step, the, the ping noise. And then because it's, it's, uh, it's graded to, to the A-weighted uh, signal generating, then we have to find some kind of um, this solution. By the way, it's, it's very simple, this part, because the, the white noise, the white noise you can easily generate with a simple transistor. Uh, if you not connecting the, the emitter or, or the co uh, collector, it doesn't matter from, from which, size, which side, if you are not connecting the emitter or, or the collector, it depends on uh, PMP or NPN, then your transistor is act like, like, a, like a really high noisy Zener diode. You have to check on the internet why. Then from that, you have to create some kind of uh, uh, op-amp. Here, this is uh, your negative, this is your positive, and uh, this is uh, your transistor noise generator solution. And here, you have to apply a different frequency range, different tuned RC circuits. It depends on, on, the, on the configuration. It can be this, each, each, each of this uh, ladder. It's, uh, by the way, you have to also put a normal resistor. And the values is going, um, the resistors, here is the biggest one, and then lower, 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 lower. And um, you have to follow this uh, logarithmic scale on, on the, on the, um, on the resistors and also on, on the capacitors. So what is doing for you on a, on a low frequencies, uh, mainly just this uh, resistor will work as, as a negative feedback. But then if you start to increase the, the frequency, because this capacity is, is also like C1 is double C, this is 3C, whatever, it's, it's going, it's, it depends on how the, the, the engineers it's, um, designed the, the circuit. So actually, uh, as you're going up with the, with the higher frequencies, more and more and more 3 dB or 1.2 dB or, two, or, or half dB, um, um, decreasing is coming into the picture. So then you, you have here the white noise, which is generated by this uh, uh, very simple uh, transistor <laughs> to, to Zener uh, circuit. From here you get uh, the, the white noise, and from this white noise, with this very simple uh, solution, uh, you can you can des you can you can get this kind of of uh, filtering, which is mean each uh, each octave you have to be get three dB less 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 less, and then of course on on the end you have to you have to put some kind of uh, uh, RC 
which is will do for you this last uh, last um, shaping, which is not allowing uh, uh, much more higher frequencies to get out. And uh, on a, on a beginning, on the next stage, you can you can build up the low pass and, uh, and the high pass filter. But <coughs> if you do this like uh, hobby or a hobby circuit, it's no not a big uh, drama and not a big big issue because here you can choose a really really cheapy TL072 op amp for, for this transistor. You can <laughs> choose whatever you just make you sure uh, this op amp has to be really high um, input impedance and very low uh, current noise uh, in, a, in, a, in a technical data. And also is true for, uh, for, the, for this uh, transistor solution. So, but in the instruments like this, the, you have to precisely adjust each of these, these filter steps because the, um, the A-weighted, the A-weighted um, uh, frequency spectrum, it has a really strict characteristic on which uh, frequency is how it looks like. So it's not not as simple. So maybe you have to do here a lot of uh, trim uh, solution and on, on, on the first resistor you need a really high precision uh, resistor. So let's let's uh, go back into into the noise generator and let's see what we can find inside. And um, as you see, there is nothing where I wanna. Okay, so here is the the, the main transformer. This is your uh, uh, battery connector, and I see here two two PCB. Maybe you can see from here. And the the bottom one is just the uh, hold uh, the power uh, solution and there is some kind of glue logic uh, under under this section uh, sorry guys i don't want to open it because a lot of cables are really tightened uh, into the case and i don't want to disturb this because I, I think it's um, calibrated but the most magic is happening here on on the top um, I think this one will be the, the noise generator because in this configuration doesn't matter what you choose for uh, for your noise source but you always has a possibility to get all the um, EMF and radio signals in, into that point so if you just want to get the really quantum physics level noise because basically we are speaking about this so if you just want to get the, the quantum physics level of uh, noise, you have to uh, shield everything here to make sure nothing uh, radio signal or other EMF signals can go into, into this uh, noise generator because it can be do for you a really big uh, mess uh, like a radio tuner actually. So I think this is the, the noise generator. And um, and uh, here I just see a couple of uh, op amps and uh, two cap for for the for the output amplifier. By the way, I, I think somebody budged <laughs> this. Uh, yeah, somebody budged uh, this um, output. Uh, amplifier because it's using a normal TDA 2030 which is not a high class and high end uh, amplifier but for the noise I think is I think it's okay um, and uh, so here there is nothing fancy but here I already see one uh, one uh, one high precision pot which I think it's it can be it can be adjust the, the, the total 
uh, level which is going from from the generator to the to the op amp uh, to the power amp this one it looks to me this is the output uh, transformer which is written on it one to one and the other is also one to one so it's actually electrically it's isolated balanced output and balanced input here there is a lot of uh, high quality relays because if you choose the source like pink or the input you can hear this clack it's like clack there is there is tons of relay and i think also maybe under no there is just the glue logic and uh, so the magic is happened here what we expect to, to see here it's or two op amp because for a noise generator you also can use uh, op amp not a transistor or so we will see or two piece of op amp or two piece op, op amp plus some kind of uh, transistors or so whatever which is by the way this shield is really heavy and i think it's handmade yeah look look, look this drilling <laughs> unbelievable the, the the shield itself is uh, it's uh, machine made but the two hole and uh, this side cut it's made by hand and this side cut is coming to here which is i think this is the the output uh, signal from the the noise generator so yeah here it is <clears throat> we have here one op amp and a bunch of um, different value of uh, resistors and capacitors i think this will be this will be the 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 last stage uh, filter which is will generate this uh, um, ping noise um, frequency uh, spectrum but somewhere here I see this is again open and this is again open and I see here just only one transistor but unfortunately all the three legs are connected so eh, who knows but you see it's a very precise uh, potentiometers to to adjust this shape of the filtering so it is one two three and this one is the first one which is which is only for the main output but this three is meaning for me one is can be the level the other one it can be the the high frequency cut and the, other, the third one it can be the the low frequency cut and all the op amp is doing this uh, noise generating and 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 uh, the filtering but here you can see so what i draw into you the first resistor this one it's this is a really key because this has to be really high precision resistor and you see is there is like one percent and it also has to be high value or low value it's depend on the configuration it's actually written 955 ohm so it's a low value uh, resistor but high precision and i find here one pin and here the other pin so let's turn it on and uh, let me show you what is on the on the signals just noise everywhere noise and noise and noise so yeah this is the the noise generator and this one is the the amplified noise after the the after this uh, op amp so let me check now the frequency spectrum if i switch on here the the math function uh, i have already set it up 20k 
of, of the span and the, the middle frequency is on, on 10, 10k of course. So let's now measure this leg, what is doing. As you see, this is the pink noise uh, frequency response. So this is really linear. So they put a lot of effort on on the, the adjusting and the, the choosing the high uh, precision components and uh, really I also I think this opems the also really high precision opems later on I will do some small research but as you see under this uh, um, shielding we already get ready the pink noise not the white I think somewhere I can get also the, the white uh, noise but I think this this uh, signals are so tiny and uh, we cannot uh, ah here okay so here you can see it's almost linear it's almost linear it's just a uh, couple of dBs is going uh, up and down but if I do a averaging believe me this line is came to be almost uh, almost flat so this is the white noise spectrum and this stage here with this lot of uh, capacitors and uh, resistors is doing for you the the pink from the white so okay let's uh, go a bit forward <coughs> what we can find on a, on a front yeah, nothing fancy just a display there is some kind of uh, adjustment for also for the display I don't know why what is doing actually but I can't tell you guys <laughs> the desoldering job on this panel is really handmade and uh, they used everywhere this really high precision capacitors which is uh, not uh, electric uh, electrolyte capacitors and um, so yeah, that's the, the life inside of, of the um, NTSC SS500 and uh, this I really like this, this switch, just listen. Wow! <laughs> this switch is it's really closed and uh, no dust can go inside and uh, I don't know how they made this uh, mute preset switch or maybe it's just by mistake but but yeah that's all and uh, on a front panel I just see more glue logic which is handle all of your uh, uh, button press and uh, switching uh, the LEDs maybe it's drive by uh, by uh, uh, some kind of really old-fashioned <laughs> couple of bit processor or who knows yeah, that's it. That's it. The the CSS 500 inside. So let now. Again, I just want to get some fun with uh, with this. Okay, I pack back everything into this uh, case and don't forget I get this on eBay for 17 euro plus uh, 4 euro for the shipping I think only just for the case it's uh, the 17 euro it's almost uh, like a gift but what is inside it's some kind of fantastic gear uh, it's really helpful it uh, will be help me a lot 
on uh, developing of of uh, of this uh, special uh, microphone from the Bayer Dynamic and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed so catch you next time <laughs>